Hello friends, welcome to Shikshati. In this video, we'll be talking about quadratic expressions and quadratic equations. So let's start. At the very outset, we need to understand the basic difference between an expression and an equation. So let us try and understand that difference. So if I say that this is an expression and at the same time, if I say this is an equation, I think from the representation itself, you can make it out. But just to make it as a specific mention, if I write a x square plus b x plus c without writing an equal to sign, if I merely write it like this, that means it is a quadratic expression. And the moment I equate an expression to another variable or equal to a zero, it becomes a quadratic equation, right? Taking this forward and focusing our attention only on expressions for the time being. So the very first thing that we need to understand here is if I say this is a quadratic expression at the same time, I should say that a should not be equal to a zero because if I put a is equal to a zero in that case, this simply becomes what b x plus c, which is what, which is a linear expression. Now, the moment I say it is a linear expression, that means what do I mean is the highest, the highest value of, I mean, the highest power of the variable here is one. Similarly, if I say, if I'm writing an expression in which the highest uh, exponent value of the variable used is two, it becomes what a quadratic expression, right? Moving forward, then talking about these ABC, what are these ABCs? These are the coefficients. Why do they, why do we call them as coefficients? Once we are able to understand that this X is a variable, anything that is multiplied with an X here, for example, here A is multiplied with X square, B is multiplied with X and C, another way to understand this is C is multiplied with zero power of X. So these multipliers are known as coefficients. The word co means two things, two or more things at the same time. Here, there are two things. Third, can I call this as a trinomial? Yes, we just discussed that we have, I mean, starting off with, we have what? Minimum power of X here, X is a variable. The minimum power of X being used here is zero. The next power that is that you're using here is one and the highest power that you're using for X here is two. So how many powers of X have we used here? Three powers of X which is why we are calling it as a trinomial. But even before this, we were talking about the role of ABC. So we know that ABC are coefficients, but then what are the values that they can take? They can take any value. When I say any value, that means I'm referring to ABC can be either a real number or it can be a non-real number also. But the, the, the most important point here is B and C can take a value like zero also, but A cannot take a value like zero. These are the fundamentals which need to be understood at the very beginning, which we have understood. Taking it forward and now associating this topic. So you would see that uh, quadratic, the, 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 whether it is a quadratic expression or it is a quadratic equation, we can associate it with numbers. We have already associated. And when now we are talking about numbers, the next thing that we are associating it with is indices. Now, when I say indices, that means I'm basically talking about what? How can I write this power 2 as a sum of two numbers? So I can write down power 2 as a sum of 0 plus 2, 1 plus 1 or 2 plus 0. In how many ways have I written this? Three ways that also justifies this being a trinomial. It not only justifies this being a trinomial only, but also it says that if I were to discuss real roots and non-real roots. So associating it with numbers now, if I say a non-real number, what is it? A non-real number would be an imaginary number, which will be, we'll be talking about at a later stage, not as of now. So the point that we're trying to make here is if I simply take X square, can I write it as X to the power zero into X to the power two, which is just like saying zero plus two. This can also be written as X to the power one into X to the power one, which is just like saying one plus one. Now, why are we saying one plus one? Because when we know that the bases are the same, then what do we do? We simply add the exponents. This is the rule of indices is what we are using here. Similarly, I can write it as X square into X to the power zero. Try and associate this discussion now with dividend is equal to questioned into divisor. 
try and associate this with with that okay so now what we are discussing here is in a quadratic expression you never talk about the roots you talk about the factors of a quadratic expression and as discussed earlier we are not going to talk about non real factors because the agenda for this video is we are talking about real factors now when i say real factors we just discussed we are basically talking about one factor being multiplied with another factor which which essentially gives me what the dividend right okay so now when i am saying this is a quadratic expression and when i know that this quadratic expression the maximum power for a quadratic expression is 2 in that case it will have two real factors right now these two real factors what would be the nature of these real factors so either these two factors would be what both of them would be rational what what are rational numbers rational numbers are those numbers which are written in the form of p by q which is just like saying a numerator divided by a denominator such that the denominator is a non zero integer but the numerator will be any integer when i say any integer i am basically saying a negative integer or zero or positive integer but the denominator will always give me either a positive integer or a negative integer so it will either have two rational factors or two irrational factors now what are irrational factors we are basically talking about irrational numbers or those numbers which are written under the roof of a root this is the basic that i can talk about as of now because the agenda is not numbers but you can always combine numbers because this topic requires the concept of divisibility remainders numbers indices graphs and what not which we'll be talking about in the subsequent videos we'll be talking about the videos that i'll be doing thereafter okay coming back when i'm saying two rational factors if i can write down this expression as a product of two rational factors now these two rational factors what will be the nature of these two rational factors so again using the same logic as we had used earlier i can say what this can be written as either 0 plus 2 or this can be written as 1 plus 1 or this can be written as 2 plus 0 now all you need to understand here is what is that i am trying to represent with 0 plus 2 so what i am trying to say here is this can be written as a breakup of zero integer factors plus two non integer factors right for example a quadratic expression can be written as uh, let's say x minus 1 by 2 into x minus 1 by 3 right now what is 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 these are non integers only okay second i can write down two real factors as i mean i can write down the quadratic expression as a product of two real factors two rational factors and those two rational factors could be both of them are integers or one of them is an integer and one of them is a non integer for example now if i want to take this as an example i can say x minus 1 into x minus half is an example of a quadratic expression being written as a product of one integer factor along with one non integer factor similarly the last one wherein i am using both of them as integer factors only and no non integer factor for example if i take an example like x minus 2 into x minus 1 is a quadratic expression with two integer factors i hope you understood this right similarly if i use an example for irrational factors i can take a very easy example like x minus root 2 into x minus root 3 and irrational factors by definition will be non integers only so when i am talking about this i am basically referring to both of them are irrational factors i hope i have made my point across last but not the least i can take one example also as x minus root 2 into x plus root 2 there is a reason behind this which we will talk about this reason later now what is the basic difference we already talked about the difference between a quadratic expression and a quadratic equation so the moment i say that a quadratic expression is equated to another variable y or i can say whenever i mean the moment i put a quadratic expression ax square plus bx plus c equal to a zero 
it becomes what equation because it is having an equal to sign in between so the moment i equate a quadratic expression to a zero the terminology of factors gets changed into what then we talk about roots or we talk about zeros of the quadratic equation they are nothing but synonymous terms yeah if you feel that today's session has been i mean this video has been really informative please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel if you have already done so please turn on the bell icon and select all so that you start receiving updates from us thank you so much until next time we meet goodbye